Matsuda-san, are you going already? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to get that checked out? Or maybe even stay a little while longer? No, I should go. Truth be told, you don't really feel like going back home, but you don't want to overstay your welcome here either. You don't want to trouble Honda-san any further. Thanks for everything, Honda-san. You stop in front of the door. Your mind rushes back to the events of yesterday, or as much as you can remember, and you hesitate. There's no way you really saw that... thing. Your head is just confused because of the blow it took. Right? So why did you run out of the house yesterday? Hmm... The house is covered in dirty footprints. They're all over the place. There's a sticky dark substance going all the way from the door handle to the table next to the door. He brought his friends and they had a party in my house. Oh great, he touched my phone and my purse. Ah, oh, this guy's a creep. What am I talking about? I'm gonna die. I don't have a, a knife. Because you don't cook a lot, you... Proper cutting, you don't have one, do you? Deodorant. Hold on, phone. Mom. Should you call her and tell her what happened? No, it'll just worry her. And then she'll tell your dad and him with his heart condition. You probably can sort this out on your own. Yeah, sure. Morrison, don't bother him on a Sunday. How is... Wait a minute, are you surviving entire weeks in this house? That's amazing. Footprints. Your purse looks like it was moved. You take a look inside. You can't be sure of it, but it seems like there are a couple things missing. The window's open. The footprints both come from and go to there. Here. Okay. Yesterday. It couldn't possibly be true, could it? That creature. The rational part of your brain wants to deny it and chalk it up to that blow to your head. However, the other part of your brain, the one that can't help entertaining the idea of superstition, the supernatural and the unknown, says that what happened was very much real and very much a threat. You decide to entertain that part of your brain. So far, you only know a handful of things about this thing, but nothing concrete enough for you to make an objective assertion about what it is. Speculation won't lead you anywhere, though. What you should do right now is go over the facts and make sure to focus on the ones that are the most important. Uh... It only comes through the window. Although you can't fathom why, it seems the thing only comes through this specific window. Daisuke Sen seemed to have thought so too, so this was the only window boarded up and the only room locked. Locking the window itself didn't do any good though. It managed to unlock it from the outside somehow. Maybe that dark substance you found on the lock had something to do with it. It didn't go after you before. Yeah, because you survived like... Seven... Weeks, I think. The thing came inside your house at least once before yesterday. It literally came inside your room and stood right next to you. You doubt it didn't know you were there. It's had plenty of chances to come after you before, so why didn't it? Was it toying with you? Was it sniffing out the food? What does it want with you, aside from taking you? Somewhere. Probably inside the other house if Sen is to be believed. Would it come back again today? Would it try to take you again today? Because if it does, I need to leave. It didn't chase you out of the house. Why are you thinking you should just go? For some reason, it didn't pursue you when you went outside. You tripped and were knocked out. It had enough time to drag you back. Did it stop because it wanted to? Or was it because it couldn't go outside? Was it just another way of messing with you like it seemed to be doing before? Would leaving the house even help? It only comes at night. So far, that thing only manifested itself at night. During the day, that house's window remains firmly closed. Although you also need to take into account the possibility that the timing might have been just a coincidence, so you can't be 100% sure it won't come during the day. 
still, it's better than nothing. It turns out you don't know much, do you? The feeling of threat, though, feels very much real. No matter how many ways you try to spin it, your gut tells you that staying in this house would be a very bad idea. You feel defeated. What was supposed to be a lucky break turned out to be a nightmare. Although despite feeling reluctant to leave the house over something so unsubstantial, so out there, you have this feeling that it's better to leave now before something bad actually happens. You should pack the bare minimum at least, before nightfall. Though you do feel a bit uneasy walking around the house so empty-handed, considering what might be coming. We need deodorant. An old memory pops into your head. It's of your dad and his peculiar way of getting rid of bugs and other insects. Because you lived on the countryside, some large insects often found their way into your home, so your dad, with his unconditional hatred of all sorts of creepy crawlies, also found a very unconventional way of dealing with them. I wonder if I can use this deodorant spray like he did. He would essentially make a homemade flamethrower with an aerosol spray and lighter, and somehow he would always manage to keep from burning the house down. He even taught you how to make one, before your mother completely forbade him from using it inside the house, and especially in front of you. Well, you're obviously not dealing with a bug here, but it's not like you have any weapons inside the house. Aside from, maybe, a regular knife. Should you take the spray? Yeah. Obtain deodorant spray. Yeah, okay. There's a dark substance. You pull it off, but it's stuck. This was like this when it came in. So I could open this from the outside, but not from the inside. And when the monster kidnapped the son, they didn't find his room covered in black stuff. Can I burn this off? I can't even use stuff. Well, start packing. Well, this is it. You should be as quick as possible and pack only the absolute minimum. And then, once you're out of the house, you can figure out where to go. Some clothes, documents, and not a lot else. This is probably enough, though. You've already spent enough time packing as it is. It's getting dark. Let's get out of here. This wasn't here before. You try clawing at the dark substance, but it refuses to give way. Crap. But if this is here, then that means... I've been waiting for you, Nami. <laughs> it's already here. <laughs> You're standing right between the creature and the way- Wait, what? You're standing right between that creature and the way- Oh yeah. However, with the door being blocked by that dark substance, it's more like you're cornered at a dead end. The creature stands in front of you, fingers stretched out and mouth stuck somewhere between a grin and a snarl, showing rows of pointy teeth. It doesn't seem to be in a hurry to do anything, but it's coming closer and closer. You don't know what it wants, but the malicious intent is unmistakable in its eyes. What should I do? Use the lighter and spray? Try to escape. Um... The thing that blocked me... Uh, you suddenly remember you have the deodorant and lighter. Maybe you can use it. Oh great! You tried getting the spray and the lighter into position as fast as you could, but it wasn't fast enough.
Well, that was a bad end. You don't have any choice. No choice, escape. And then... Ah... Uh, crap. Even with a locked door between you and the creature, you don't feel safe. Thinking back, that thing did manage to unlock the window from the outside. What if it can unlock doors too? I need to do something. Push this over. No. Clamp not that window's locked. Knife? Maybe a knife. You don't have any actual cutting knives though. The ones you have don't seem like they could have help. You don't have any actual cutting knives though. The ones you have don't seem like they could help. What does that even mean? Um phone. Huh? The phone's dead. Really? How did it know to cut the telephone line? That's one smart creature thing. Window. Maybe I can get out through here. You try to open the window, but it's stuck. Damn it. Wait. You suddenly remember you have a lighter and a deodorant spray. Maybe you can. Good. Press A to light fire. Ow! I don't want to fight you, though. I want to burn this thing. I did not need to go this way. You spray fire onto the substance stuck to the door. Surprisingly and thankfully, it was quick to combust. Once it's out of the way, you push the door open and stumble outside. The creature doesn't follow you outside. You lay on the sidewalk, unmovingly staring at the house that's slowly going up in flames. The neighbors eventually start stepping outside to see what's going on. Honda-san comes, rushing over to your side in worry. You vaguely note that someone must have called the fire department after they start showing up to put out the flames. It's no surprise when they take you in for questioning, considering how you were essentially holding a makeshift flamethrower in your hands. You tell them about the thing that got inside your house. How you thought it was an animal at first, but in reality you have no idea what it was. They ask you about the wound on your head. They question how severe it was. Honda-san tells them that she doesn't know as you refuse to go to a hospital. They start questioning your medical history, and your stress-related episodes come to light. It gets worse when they find out that even when on medical leave from work, you are still doing work-related favors for co-workers. According to them, you might have just thought up the whole thing, which you found ridiculous. Having a breakdown is one thing, but hallucinating a monster coming to get you from the house next door. Actually. You were painfully aware of how absurd that sounded, which is why you ended up agreeing to those mandatory therapy sessions to monitor your mental health, as long as it got you away from that house. You couldn't help returning three months later, though. You stand on the sidewalk, gazing up at your former house. The fire did quite the damage to the house, but it seems it was already being renovated, and it wouldn't take long until it was ready to be rented again. You only lived there for a week, so you don't have many memories inside it, and, truth be told, you've started to doubt the ones you do have. Looking back, it seems so ludicrous to think that you set the house on fire because you thought you were being chased by some kind of nightmarish creature from next door. You almost feel embarrassed by it. Still, you can't help yourself. You peek between the two houses, trying to catch a glimpse at the other house's window. The wall blocking off the passage makes it difficult, but you manage. There it is. That house's only window. You won't deny that it's strange, but enough to think a creature would come out of it to do what? Kidnap you? Honestly. Wow. Okay.
Okay, I'm gonna try burning it to death. It took a while, but the creature eventually succumbed to the flames. He stood there shocked, watching as it started thrashing around violently and smashing into furniture. Once you realize what's happening, you tried backing away, but your feet got caught in something and you fell down. You tried backing away, but... Despite being on fire, the creature held on to your ankle tightly, refusing to let go. Eventually, it wasn't the only thing that was on fire. Uh, maybe you can use this to take a photo of that thing. Great. This could be a good hiding spot. It's cramped, but there's enough space for one person inside. You leave the door open slightly, just enough for you to peek through the gap. You can see the sunlight fading away, little by little as you wait anxiously, camera at ready. What you saw yesterday was true after all and it's back. The creature suddenly throws the closet door open and grabs you by the ankle. On impulse you flash the camera in the creature's face. The creature stumbles back, dazed by the flash. Really? Allowing you to kick it aside and out of the way. Come on, let's get out of here. I need to get out of here. <gasps> Is this the best ending? You feel like you've made a mistake. You should have gotten out of the house when you had the chance. There's no time to dwell on that now though. You need to go. We're fine. Look, we- not that way. Not this way. What? When did it- What you saw was true after all and it's back. The creature throws the door open and grabs you by the ankle. You don't have any room inside the closet to maneuver, you can't escape. Your head throbs. You open your eyes, but your vision's blurry. You feel light. You're being carried. When your vision goes back into focus, you find yourself staring at a window. Your window? You look down and you notice you're in a gap between the two houses. You look at who's carrying you and... Once your mind registers that the creature is carrying you into the other house, you frantically try grasping at anything you can find. Your hands grasp at the windowsill and hold it tightly effectively halting your progress into the house. You can feel the thing pulling at your legs, trying to tug you inside. You desperately kick out, trying to free yourself from the creature's grip. When you start to feel it loosening, you tighten your hold on the windowsill and pull yourself out as hard as you can. You're halfway out the window when you're suddenly pulled back in. Police are inclined you made it up. In the end, you get charged. What the f- What? It's okay, though. You're never- But you took a picture with a camera! Two dice case sen. You were right. Honestly, what the hell is with this house? It's a second tenant already. Hello, is anyone in there?
There's no record of anyone living here. Or better, there's no record at all of anything. How's this house still here? Hello. So I guess they wouldn't mind if I... What the hell? Maybe Matsuda was right. I don't think they'll want to know what's inside. What happened with the photo, though? You took a picture with a camera to scare it out of the closet. That's fine. I'm done. This was from next door. I enjoyed it, but the last part was super annoying. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>